Samantha Ray stood before the towering wrought iron gates, their fleur-de-lis spikes stabbing at the storm-churned sky. Blackthorn Manor loomed beyond. A gothic monstrosity of crumbling stone and ivy-choked walls. A shiver traced down her spine, and not just from the icy needles of rain prickling her skin through her black sheath dress. It had been ten years since she'd last set foot on the gravel drive, ten years of running from the secrets and sins of her past. But now, with her grandmother Victoria's death, the poisoned legacy fell to her. The last of the Blackthorn women, heiress to a dynasty built on blood and dark magic. Stealing herself, Samantha pushed through the gates, their piercing screech like nails on a chalkboard. Each clip of her Louboutin heels on the wet gravel echoed her pounding heart. She needed to get in, get through the will reading and get out, before this place could sink its merciless claws into her again. But as she stepped into the cavernous foyer, shadows rising up to greet her like hooded specters, memories came flooding back, staining her vision crimson. Rain-lashed nights huddled under her covers, praying her father's footsteps wouldn't stop outside her door. Her mother's vacant eyes, glassy from the array of pills, meant to numb a lifetime of regrets. Hushed arguments behind closed doors, snatches of forbidden rituals and family curses. Miss Blackthorn, welcome home. The rich baritone jolted her from her dark reverie. She spun to find a man emerging from the shadows beneath the grand staircase. Tall and broad-shouldered, with raven hair and sharp features cut from granite. He moved toward her with predatory grace, like a wolf, circling his prey. It's Miss Ray, actually. She forced steel into her voice. And you are. A flicker of amusement shadowed his obsidian eyes. Of course. My apologies. I'm Damien Ashcroft, the estate's caretaker. He extended a hand, the heavy signet ring on his finger bearing the Blackthorn crest, a raven perched on a thorned rose. I've been looking after Blackthorn Manor since your grandmother fell ill. Samantha frowned, ignoring his proffered hand. Funny, she never mentioned you. And I thought I knew all the family skeletons. His lips quirked. Oh, I'm no skeleton, Miss Ray. In fact, I'm very much flesh and blood. His gaze raked over her, sending heat rushing to her rain-chilled skin. As I'm sure you'll come to discover during your stay. Samantha's fingers tightened on her clutch. I won't be staying long. Just need to get through the will reading and put this place in my rearview mirror. Ah, yes. The will. Something flickered behind his eyes, gone too quick to decipher. Speaking of which, the lawyer is waiting in the study along with the rest of the family. Her heart stumbled. The rest of the family? I thought I was the last doll. The last of the immediate Blackthorn line? Yes. But the family tree has many twisted branches. Illegitimate children, disgraced second cousins, disinherited black sheep. He gestured for her to follow him down the portrait-lined hall, all crawling out of the woodwork for a piece of Victoria's fortune. Ice rippled down Samantha's spine. Memories of slamming doors, shattering glass, her mother's broken sobs. They can have it. Every last blood-soaked scent. I don't want any part of this cursed legacy. They reached the study door, a hulking slab of oak and iron. Damien paused with his hand on the wrought silver knob, turning to face her. I'm afraid it's not that simple, Miss Ray. His voice dropped to a midnight murmur. You can't outrun fate. This is your birthright your destiny. His eyes held hers, deep and fathomless as the sea. And the Blackthorn curse will never let you go. With that, he turned the handle, iron hinges screaming as the door yawned open. The musty scent of old books and older secrets wafted out, along with a frigid blast of air that raised goosebumps on Samantha's arms. Against every survival instinct screaming in her blood, she forced herself across the threshold. The study was a cavernous space, lined floor to ceiling with leather-bound tomes and antique curios. A massive mahogany desk dominated the far wall, flanked by floor-to-ceiling windows black with rain. And there, perched on a velvet settee like a murder of crows, sat her estranged family. Cousins she barely remembered, 
aunts and uncles she'd tried to forget, all eyeing her with cool appraising stares picking her apart like carrion. At the center of the merciless flock was a severe woman in a high-necked onyx gown, steel-gray hair pulled into a severe chignon. Her regal bearing and imperious gaze marked her as the family matriarch. Ah, Samantha. So good of you to finally join us, she said, voice smooth and cold as black ice. I was beginning to think you'd lost your way. Again. Samantha's stomach twined into knots, old hurts resurfacing like bloated corpses. Hello, Anna Octavia, she managed through gritted teeth. I see time hasn't sweetened your tongue. Octavia's lips curled in a razor smile. Nor has it thickened your skin, apparently. A pity. You'll need it for what's to come. She turned her hawkish gaze to the weaselly man in a pinstriped suit, perspiring beside her. Mr. Fink, let's get on with it, shall we? Some of us have lives to get back to. Well, most of us, anyway. The lawyer jumped slightly, fumbling with his briefcase. Yes, of course. Now that everyone is assembled? Everyone. The word echoed in the cavernous room. Everyone left of a once great dynasty, now reduced to a handful of vultures picking over the bones. Samantha's chest ached with the weight of it, the burden of her bloodline. Mr. Fink produced a leather document holder, cracked with age. He cleared his throat, yellowed parchment crinkling as he unfolded it. I, Victoria Elizabeth Blackthorne, being of sound mind and body. Samantha let the legal jargon wash over her, mind wandering treacherously to the brooding caretaker. To the warm brush of his fingers as he ushered her in, the dark promises simmering in his gaze. Promises a part of her yearned to explore, even as the rest shrank from them. Do hereby bequeath Blackthorn Manor, and the entirety of my estate, to my granddaughter, Samantha Annabel Ray. Silence. A breathless beat. Then chaos, erupting around her like a murder of crows taking flight. Shouts of outrage, hissed accusations, pounding fists. Samantha stood at the eye of the storm, the tempestuous winds of their wrath whipping her hair, her blood, her very marrow. But all she could see was Damien standing in the shadows by the door, still as a gravestone, dark as the grave, a ghost of a smile playing at the edges of his lips. Her fist clenched around the black skeleton key Aunt Octavia thrust at her, teeth biting into her palm. Iron and rust and secrets, heavy as a dead woman's heart. She had inherited far more than bricks and mortar, she realized. She had inherited a twisted legacy, a dynasty of darkness. And something told her there would be no escape, even in death. The rain lashed the leaded windows like an army of spectral fingers as Samantha paced the length of the study, heels wearing a groove in the faded oriental rug. The tatters of her relative's outrage still hung heavy in the air, suffocating as grave dirt. They had dispersed like roaches once the initial shock wore off, skittering away to darkened corners of the manor to plot and scheme. But their fury, their cold disdain lingered like rot a festering reminder that no matter how far she ran, the poison tendrils of the Blackthorn legacy would always pull her back. She paused in front of the massive mahogany desk, fingers tracing the whorls and ridges in the ancient wood. How many dark deeds had been plotted on its nicked surface? How many lives sealed by the stroke of a pen, the stamp of a signet ring? Shaking off the morose thoughts, she wrenched open the top drawer, hoping for a ledger, a file, any clue to make sense of Victoria's decision? Why choose her, the prodigal granddaughter, to helm this cursed ship? What was the cryptic old bat playing at? But all she found was dust and shadow, and the sharp corner of a faded photograph peeking out from under the seam. Brow furrowed, Samantha plucked it free, bringing it to the pallid light. Her heart slammed against her ribcage. It was Victoria in grainy black and white, years younger but no less regal. And beside her, a handsome man with dark hair and darker eyes, his face a ghostly mirror of Damien's. The same hawkish nose, the same etched cheekbones and slash of a mouth. The same glimmer of secrets like black ice. But where Damien's gaze smoldered, this man's burned. An inferno barely banked behind a thin veneer of civility.
Maximilian Ashcroft, a silky voice drawled from the doorway. Samantha jolted, head whipping up to find Damien filling the jam, arms crossed over his broad chest. Victoria's first love. And my grandfather. Samantha's mouth ran dry. Some deep feminine part of her responded to the danger he exuded like a dark song, even as her higher mind screamed caution. She shoved the photograph back in the drawer, slamming it shut as if to trap the troubling emotions. So you're not just the help. His lips quirked. Oh, I'm here to serve, Miss Ray. In any way required. His tone dipped, eyes raking over her rain-dampened skin with a heat she felt in her bones. But, you're right. My role extends far beyond the duties of a mere caretaker. And what role is that, exactly? Her voice emerged low and thick. Damn him. Damn her traitorous body for responding to him, like dry kindling to a struck match. Damien prowled closer, footfall silent as a panther on the carpet. I'm here as a guide. A guardian. He stopped a hair's breadth from her, the spice of his cologne invading her senses. To help you navigate the dark currents of your legacy. And claim your rightful place as mistress of Blackthorn Manor. And if I don't want it? She hated how breathless she sounded. Hated the way her skin prickled with pent-up electricity, every nerve ending straining toward his heat. If I refuse this so-called birthright. Oh, Samantha. Her name was a dark purr on his tongue, igniting a flutter low in her belly. Surely you've realized by now? You have no choice. The manor has chosen you. His eyes glittered like black diamonds, hard and hypnotic. Just as it chose Victoria. And Maximilian. Just as it chooses a Blackthorn bride in every generation to continue the legacy. Samantha's blood ran cold, a sick dread coiling in her stomach. Bride. The word thudded like a headstone heavy with all the things left unspoken. All the dark deeds and darker desires woven into the manor's rotting tapestry. She swallowed hard, fighting the urge to bolt, to run screaming into the rain, and never look back. But she knew with bleak certainty it would do no good. The manor had its hooks in her now, as surely as if she'd been born with them in her flesh. Drawing a shuddering breath, she squared her shoulders, meeting Damien's obsidian stare head on. She couldn't run. But she'd be damned if she'd submit without a fight. All right, then. Educate me. What exactly does being mistress of Blackthorn Manor entail? His smile cut like a knife in the shadows. Oh, it will be my pleasure to show you. He offered his arm, an echo of a courtly gesture rendered sinister by the predatory gleam in his gaze. Shall we begin the grand tour? Every instinct screamed at her to recoil, to keep as much distance between them as the insidious manner would allow. But she found herself taking his arm, fingers curling into the fine wool of his suit jacket. Found herself letting him lead her out into the gloom-choked corridor, the eyes of the ancestors boring into her back from their tarnished frames. If she was to survive this legacy, to wrest some scrap of control from its grasping claws, she needed to understand it. To face it head on, even if it flayed the flesh from her bones and the sanity from her mind. Even if she lost herself in the dance with the dark-eyed devil at her side. As they descended into the bowels of the manor, shadows rising up to swallow them whole, she wondered if that hadn't been Victoria's plan all along. Her grim inheritance. To remake her in the manor's twisted image, or see her shatter in the process. The bowels of Blackthorn Manor were a labyrinth of shadow and secrets, the air thick with the cloying sweetness of decay. Mildew stained the wallpaper in Rorschach patterns, hinting at horrors too vile to name. Cobwebs caressed Samantha's cheeks like dead lover's fingers as she followed Damien deeper into the gloom, his arm a steel band anchoring her to a reality that felt more tenuous with each step. He led her down a winding stone staircase, walls weeping with damp and despair. The temperature plummeted, each exhale clouding before her face. Goose flesh prickled her skin, every hair standing at attention. But whether from the cold or the eerie menace seeping from the stones, she couldn't say. At the base of the stairs, Damien paused before a heavy oak door, 
rusted iron rivets driven into its surface like nails in a coffin. He glanced back at her, eyes glinting in the anemic light. Brace yourself, Miss Ray. The truth of your legacy lies beyond this door. And it will demand a blood price. Samantha's heart thudded a staccato beat against her ribs. Blood price. The phrase conjured visions of pagan rituals, obsidian blades glinting in candlelight, crimson rivulets staining ancient stone. But she tamped down her dread, forcing her spine straight as a steel rod. She'd come too far to turn back now. I'm not afraid of a little blood, she bit out, jutting her chin. Or the truth. Open the door. His lips quirked in a smile sharp as shattered glass. As you wish. He turned the handle, hinges shrieking like souls in torment. The door swung open. And Samantha forgot how to breathe. The chamber beyond was an obscene marriage of opulence and the occult. Onyx vined marble floors stretched into shadow, their polished surface reflecting guttering candelabras and grotesque statuary. Tapestries heavy with mold and malice hung from the walls, depicting scenes of debauchery and demonic communion that turned the stomach. At the center of it, all squatted an altar of pitted basalt, its surface stained a telling rust brown. But it was the portraits ringing the room that sucked the air from her lungs like a vacuum. Thirteen of them, each more disturbing than the last. Thirteen blackthorn brides, forever frozen in oil and agony. Their eyes, empty and accusing, bored into Samantha. Their rictus mouths, contorted in ecstasy or anguish, seemed to whisper dark secrets too terrible to bear. Secrets of submission and sacrifice, of wounds quickened and lives snuffed out, all leading to the final portrait, the gilded frame, gaping like an open wound, waiting for the newest bride to take her place. Nausea churned in Samantha's gut, curdling with an awful understanding. A bride in every generation, she whispered, horrified gaze flying to Damien. You said the manor chooses. Chooses for what? To be a vessel? A sacrifice? A conduit? He closed the distance between them, gloved hand ghosting along her cheek in a macabre mockery of a caress. She flinched, skin crawling, but he only gripped her chin, forcing her to meet his obsidian stare. For the manor's dark power? For the blackthorn blood magics that keep our fortune, our influence, evergreen and everlasting? Samantha wrenched free of his grasp, bile scalding her throat. Blood magics. The words tasted of copper and cordite on her tongue. Is that what happened to them? To the brides? She jerked her head at the portraits, their dead eyes drilling into her back. They serve their purpose. Damien shrugged, handsome face, remote as carven marble. As must you. As will your daughter, and her daughter after that an undinged cycle of power and progeny. Daughter, daughter. The word thudded like a coffin nail, reverberating in Samantha's aching womb. Vision swam before her eyes, hazy and half-formed. A little girl with flame-bright hair and fathomless black eyes, twirling in a gossamer dress stained crimson. Tiny hands grasping at her skirts, plaintive wails piercing the gloom. Mama, please. Don't let them take me. A sob wrenched from Samantha's chest, visceral and ragged. The visions shredded like mist, but the ache remained, a barbed hook behind her breastbone. No, she choked out, backing away from Damien, from the portraits and their silent screams. I won't be a part of this madness. I won't breed lambs for your sacrificial slaughter. Damien advanced, a panther stalking its prey. You speak as though you have a choice, Samantha. Her name, so at odds with the cruel curl of his mouth. The yearning in her blood, so at odds with the revulsion coiling in her gut. What did you think, mistress of Blackthorn Manor meant? Tea parties and garden tools? His laugh, dark as dried blood. You belong to this house now. To me. To the legacy we are destined to continue. I belong to no one she hissed, fists clenched at her sides to hide their trembling. 
least of all a madman playing at dark sorcery. Anger flashed quicksilver through his obsidian eyes. Faster than thought, he seized her shoulders, yanking her flush against the hard planes of his body. Samantha gasped, fear and something far more disturbing sparking along her nerve endings. Her nostrils filled with the scent of him. Spice and smoke, danger and damnation. Playing? What? He growled against the shell of her ear, lips grazing her skin in a sinful susurration. Oh, Samantha. My sweet, naive, Samantha. You have no idea the power that runs in these veins. The secrets seeping from every stone of this manor. Secrets sealed in blood and pleasure, pain and submission. His gloved hand slid up her throat, tightening just shy of a threat. And you will know them all intimately before we're through. You will scream them to the heavens as you writhe on that altar, belly quitting with my seed. As thirteen generations of blackthorn magic sing in your blood, horror and heady lust twined in Samantha's core, dizzying and devouring. Her skin sizzled where he touched her, as if his very essence was a corrosive, eating through her defenses to the vulnerable places beneath. She wanted to scream, to flee, to claw the unholy desire from her flesh. But all she could do was arch into his bruising grip, head tipping back to bare her throat. A sacrificial offering. A surrender. Damien made a dark sound of approval, teeth grazing her hammering pulse. That's it, my love. Yield to your fate. To the dark glory that awaits us. His other hand slid down her trembling flank, igniting wildfires in its wake. Clever fingers bunched in her skirt, yanking the fabric up her thighs. The altar aches to be christened anew to drink the nectar of our unholy union as I claim you, body and blood and blackened soul. Samantha jolted like a live wire, sanity crashing back in an icy deluge. What madness was this to crave her own corruption? To melt into his malevolent touch even as every cell screamed to run, to cling to the light? Light, dight. It pierced the wicked spell woven around her, sharp as a lance. The truth of her legacy, a blinding beacon in the gloom. She wasn't just a Blackthorn bride. She was a Blackthorn witch. The blood of thirteen generations of power and pain flowed in her veins, aching to be awakened. Not in darkness, but in defiance. With a strength she didn't know she possessed, Samantha shoved Damien away, sending him sprawling against the altar. He blinked up at her, Shock and fury warring on his too perfect face. You forget yourself, Miss Ray. He pushed to his feet, dusting off his lapels with a predatory nonchalance that set her teeth on edge. You are not the mistress here. Not yet. No. I am something far more dangerous. The words tasted of ozone and absolution on her tongue. A dark thrill shivered through her, electric and enthralling. I'm the reckoning your foul legacy has too long escaped. She turned to the portraits, meeting each wretched bride's gaze, holding their torment, their unspoken thirsting for vengeance, letting it fill her, fuel her. The blood price will be paid, Damien Ashcroft, and you will be the one to pay it. His mocking laughter skittered along her spine like spider legs. You forget, which I am the blood of Blackthorn, too. The manor will never let you harm me. Samantha smiled, cold and cutting. We shall see. Gathering her skirts, she spun on her heel, a blur of crimson silk and crackling power. She strode from the chamber, the slam of the door like a shotgun blast behind her. The game was on. And she would see this manor raised to rubble before she let it make her its bride. Even if she had to burn with it. The manor was a living, breathing thing, Malevolence pulsing through its walls like sickened blood. It watched Samantha with a thousand unseen eyes as she raced up the winding staircase, spectral fingers plucking at her skirts, her hair, her hammering heart, trying to pull her back into its dark embrace. But she wouldn't be deterred. Not now, with righteous fury searing her veins and forbidden knowledge unfurling in her mind. The portrait's silent screams had reached into some primal part of her, awakening an ancient power long dormant. A birthright of blood and brimstone, pain, 
and potential. She burst into the study, startling a shriek from Aunt Octavia, who huddled with the other relatives around the guttering fireplace. Thirteen pairs of eyes snapped to her, wide and wary. Samantha, Octavia began, bony fingers twisting in her onyx skirts. Spare me the false concern, Samantha cut her off, voice cracking like a whip. I know the truth. I know what you are. What you've done. She advanced into the room, shadows lapping at her feet like frothing hellhounds. The temperature plummeted, frost feathering the windows. For generations, you've sacrificed your daughters to feed this manor's appetite for anguish. Married them off to monsters parading as men, to be bled and broken on the basalt altar. Octavia blanched, recoiling. You don't understand. We had no choice. The magics demand. The magics demand a maiden's lifeblood at every solstice. Damien's silken voice from the doorway, colder than the grave. He stepped into the room, shadows pooling around him like a cloak of liquid night. You've meddled with forces beyond your ken, Samantha. Interrupted a ritual older than time. Samantha rounded on him, hair whipping in a spectral wind of her own conjuring. No, Damien. You've perverted a ritual older than time. Twisted the sacred feminine into something foul and festering. She thrust a hand at the murky oil painting above the mantle, the manor as it once was, a beacon of beauty and light. Blackthorn Manor was built as a sanctuary, a place of healing and hope, presided over by wise women. The brides were never meant to be broodmares or blood sacrifices. Her eyes flashed, ozone and absolution. They were meant to be guardians, goddesses, conduits of the divine feminine, blessing the land and its people with their radiance. Damien scoffed, lip curling in a sneer. Pretty words, witch. But empty as your womb will be, once I carve the heart from your chest. He lunged, inhumanly fast, silver flashing in his fist. A blade, honed to wicked sharpness. Screams erupted all around, Aunt Octavia and the others scattering like roaches. But Samantha held her ground, unafraid. She caught Damien's wrist as he brought the knife slashing down, bones grinding in her crushingly tight grip. You will spill no more innocent blood, Damien Ashcroft. Her voice reverberated with a thousand others, the wronged women of Blackthorn's past. Thirteen generations of rage and grief poured through her, a channel for their vengeance. This ends now. She wrenched the blade from his grasp, steel biting into her palm. Crimson welled, dripping onto the flagstones. But instead of weakening her, each rivulet only stoked her power, her purpose. With a wordless cry, she shoved Damien back, sending him crashing into the bookshelves. Tomes rained down, pages fluttering like broken-winged birds. He struggled to rise, spitting curses, but she pinned him with a thought, the raw force of her will. I am the mistress of Blackthorn Manor. The words rang out like a clarion, echoing through the ages. And I hereby sever all ties to the dark forces that have sullied this sacred place. She slashed her bleeding palm through the air, droplets spattering in a crimson arc. Where they fell, the shadows shredded like mist, revealing dank puddles, decaying relics, the fetid underbelly of Blackthorn's rot and ruin. I banish you, Damien Ashcroft. Another slash, another burst of scouring light. He writhed against the bookshelf, face contorting in fury and fear. I cast you out, along with all the malicious entities you've consorted with. Samantha advanced, blood magics building to a fever pitch inside her. The manor groaned all around, shuddering on its foundations. Cracks split the walls, plaster dust raining down. But she didn't stop. Couldn't stop. The pain of thirteen generations flowed through her, fueling her. Demanding restitution? I purify this place with the blood of the innocent, the tears of the wounded. She painted sigils in the air, each one blazing like a miniature star. I reclaim this sanctuary for the light, for the love that knows no bounds. The sigils flared nova bright, racing along the walls in searing arcs. Tapestries crumbled to ash, grotesque statuary exploding in sprays of powder-fine marble. 
and still Samantha poured her essence into the cleansing, the unmaking of centuries of vile deeds. By my blood, by my will, by my unbreakable bond with the sacred feminine. The words seared at her throat, her tongue, her very soul. A vow, an evocation. I rebirth Blackthorn Manor. A final pulse of power, blinding in its brilliance. A sound like a thousand angels exhaling in rapture. Then, none. Silence. Stillness. Soft golden light filtering through windows wiped clean of grime and grief. Samantha stood at the heart of it all, chest heaving, palm throbbing. But despite her exhaustion, a profound peace suffused her. The manor was cleansed, its original purpose restored. She could feel it in the very stones, the hum of gentle magics. A healing balm, soothing the scars of the past. As for Damien, she turned, half expecting to find him a smoldering pile of ash and spite. But he was gone, bookshelf and all. Not a trace remained, only the faintest whiff of brimstone and betrayal lingering in the air. Samantha's knees gave way, and she sank to the sun-warmed flagstones, hot tears of relief and release streaking her cheeks. It was over. The legacy of blood and brutality, finally put to rest. She was free. Free to step into her true power, her true purpose. To make Blackthorn Manor a beacon of hope and healing once more. Heart full to bursting, she tilted her face up to the light, basking in the warmth. In the love that radiated from every nook and cranny, from the joyous spun sugar laughter filtering in from the gardens. The brides of Blackthorn's past, reveling in their long-awaited release. In the maiden's triumph over the monster. And oh, what a sweet sound it was. A benediction. A beginning. Smiling through her tears, Samantha whispered to the luminous air, to the generations yet to come. Welcome home. Wow. The end.